Good morning from Hosanna Family Worship Center in Pope, Mississippi, and welcome to Back Talk. I'm your host, Rick Stevenson, along with my co-host, Ken Fister. Howdy. Well, Brother Ken, uh, Damon just pulled up to Romans 1 and part <laughs> this morning. That's super good. Wasn't it? Super good message. Yeah, yeah. He, he touched on the, the free will of mankind to do, if they refuse God, to do what's in their own heart to do. Mm -hmm. And boy, Romans 1 describes what will happen wow. when you refuse to have an awesome respect for God. And that's what the Bible says is fear of God, that means awesome respect. Well, you know, uh, when I first came to Hosanna, that was one of the things that Damon mentioned about Romans changing his life. Little did he know that the same thing had happened to me, and I didn't know that the same thing happened to you. So all yep. three of us were really struggling in our in our unsaved years until, but it was it was the book of Romans that really kind of yeah. set us free. Yeah, it is. And yeah. if you think that you're bad, go to Romans six and seven. You'll figure out why you think you're bad. And, yeah. and, and exactly. And, 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 uh, I do the things that I don't want to do and the things I want to do I don't do. Yeah, you're on it. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you don't think anybody understands you, that scripture right there ought to set you free about some stuff because yeah. here was Paul. This is the one that really helped me was that Paul was probably uh, the most gifted writer in the New Testament, you know, uh, inspired by the uh, Holy 14, Spirit. 14 books? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And here he was struggling with it. And I was thinking, He's not supposed to be struggling with that. I'm the one struggling <laughs> yeah. with that, not Paul. Yeah. But boy, the transition of me understanding what he was going through was what I was going through. Yeah. And Pastor brought out the fact that when you look in Genesis 1, 2, and 3, mm -hmm. where God created mankind in His image, male and female created He them, not transgender, not homosexual, male and female created he them. Mm -hmm. And when people start to take the place of God, they, they're in very thin ice mm -hmm. when it comes to, if they happen to die in that state, they're gonna face the judgment of Almighty God because he's righteous. Right. He's gonna judge what's good and what's bad and everything that he mentioned that's bad is bad for us. Not for God, it's bad for us. It, well, he did a great job of explaining that too um, when, he was, when, he, when he said about the very thing that you're just talking about right there was he, he's, he's letting us know that it's not, it's what's inside of us that's causing our, our angst and our problem. It's in our mind here. We've got a battle going on. He mentioned that. Yeah. Our flesh is at enmity or at war mm -hmm. with the Spirit of God that's within us. That mm -hmm. when you get born again, you're going to have to slap your, slap your flesh die because. Die to self daily. Die to self daily because your flesh is going to want you to do things that the Spirit of God within you is going to say, no, 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 no. Yeah. See? Well, he, he also was able to dissect there things that we've talked about in the past too, where people blame God for a lot of things. Yeah. He just laid it out. He said, if you do these things, God is going to just pull his hand off of you. It's not God actually doing and bringing the evil. Absolutely. He just removes yep. his hands and lets you do what you want to do. Right. And what's going to happen then? If God lifts his hands of protection, Mm -hmm. Satan's going to move in. I'll guarantee mm -hmm. you that. Mm -hmm. And he does, and you're going to suffer the consequences mm -hmm. of the damage you do by rejecting God's ways. Mm -hmm. So the Bible was written as a love letter to us, inscribed, inspired by the Holy Spirit of God to mm -hmm. keep us from uh, walking on our own feet with golf shoes. Right, yeah. right, right. Well, you know, the, 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 the saying is so many people want to use an excuse that, you know, well, well God, uh, God did these evil things. It's like the insurance company saying yeah. an act of God. But that's blasphemy. It, absolutely. He, he tells us right here where it's coming from. Yeah. He says, I just took my hands off of you. I didn't do it. I just took my hands off of you and let you have your own way. And, and the, the whole reference to this is Job 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. The difference between the good guy, God, yeah. and the bad guy, Satan. Mm -hmm. That's the reason that it's the oldest book in the Bible. It, mm -hmm. it references right back to who's the good guy, God. Mm -hmm. 
Who's the bad guy? Satan. That's it. And everything that Job's friends, um, he had three psychologist friends <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that that didn't know to squat. And Job was saying, I'm righteous and I'm without sin. And so you got to watch yourself when you're in the presence of God. <laughs> but, but nonetheless, he didn't deserve what Satan did to him. Mm -hmm. But since he's pre-law, he blamed God for go both good and evil. evil. And that's not the case. The whole mm -hmm. book of Job explains the difference between the good guy, God, mm -hmm. and the bad guy, Satan. Satan was the one that took away from him. Yep. So we have in Romans the very clarifying yep. aspect of what Jesus did for us. It's yep. just wonderful. Right. Well, you know, we're, we're also we're, we're referred to as the children of God, the firstborn of many brethren. <clears throat> and, you know, we've talked about this before, and you said this. If you saw a child running into a fire, what would you do? You would absolutely run and try to save them from that. Yeah, absolutely. They're, even if it wasn't your child and, mm -hmm. and wasn't of your ethnicity, mm -hmm. you would run and grab that child before that child ran into mm -hmm. the fire. Right. And that's what Christians should be doing to mm -hmm. their lost family and right. friends. Right. And making sure mm -hmm. uh, that they meet the Almighty God mm -hmm. and not all. Oh, all damaging Satan. <laughs> right. But you know, there, Romans lays it out very clearly that there's going to be points and times, and it it's, goes back to the same reference about children. There's some times that we let our children go right ahead. If it's something that's not going to absolutely kill them, we'll go, okay, that's you what you want. That? You won't eat all this candy in the sack knock yourself out and you just let them go and then eventually they're going to get sick of that and they're going to be uh, taught they'll a lesson. have to go to the dentist. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, that's what Paul was trying to say. Yeah. Paul was saying he's going to take your hand off you. If you want it bad enough, if you want to just keep on in your sin, he's going to take his hand off of yeah. you and go, okay. Yeah. So in same past, thing about the... Um, about honoring your father and your mother. He, he brought that up in the scriptures today. That was in Romans as well. That's in Romans What's gonna happen? 1 and 2. And yeah. it states that if you don't have respect, and, and that goes to 2 Timothy chapter 3, mm -hmm. where uh, the whole hip parade list is listed of the at the end time days, mm -hmm. this is how people are going to be. Mm -hmm. And Paul describes it in both cases mm -hmm. that uh, we're facing people who don't know God, don't fear God, don't respect God, mm -hmm. and they're trying to teach our children and us that if it feels good, do it. Yep. 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 There, that's the enemy of secular humanism against humanity. Mm -hmm. There are two tenets of faith. There is no God and there is no e uh, supernatural, so therefore they do away with Satan. Right. And God makes it plentifully clear that there is an enemy mm -hmm. of the righteous right. and his name is Satan. Well, we spent some time in, in Romans earlier this week and some of last week, me and you on our little uh, back and forth through the week and stuff, t talking about some of those very things. And uh, I told you, I just sometimes I'll just send you Romans 1, Romans 1, <laughs> Romans 1. It's just, you know, when you look right at the after news. you look at a news flash. News yeah. flash, you go, it's Romans 1. So, and, and here it is, Damon's laying it out. And uh, again, Damon's uh, messages are right in tune with all of us are in sync with one another yeah. in this church thinking about what's going on in today's time. Yeah. And uh, society tries to go against the Word of God. For instance, mm -hmm. God created male and female, created He them in His own image. Mm -hmm. And humanity says, no, 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 that's not right. Transgender and women with women, mm -hmm. lesbians, and men with men, homosexuals, is the way to go. Well, right. that's uh, transgenders too. Mm -hmm. and, well, that's a crock. Yeah. According to the Word of God, mm -hmm. and uh, it says very clearly they knew 
yeah. God's will, but they failed to do right. what God said. They took took their own. It, it feels good. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, Your own flesh yeah. <laughs> will deceive you. Yeah. Well, well, Damon made it real clear about uh, where his stance is on all those things that, that Paul mentioned. And Paul, Paul even said, um, if you, you're going to keep on doing these things, and if you just continue on, he's going to take your hand. I'm going to take my hands off of and you. And the protection. Yes. And then, boy, how do, when we're turned over to our own devices, what flesh wants to do, yeah. oh, we're going down a path that we do not really want to go down. And you've got to remember, God assigned a guardian angel to each mm -hmm. one of us. Mm -hmm. So when God pulls his hand back, the angel of protection around you pulls mm -hmm. his hands back. Mm -hmm. And Satan's going to come in. Yeah. Well, you know, but, the encouraging thing about it all is that, that Paul told everybody, and he's telling us in the, in the Word here, is that there is hope for this to come out of this. Is. And he points us to the direction of where we need to go. And that's the cross of Jesus, mm -hmm. crucify the lust of the flesh daily right. and uh, walk in the ways of God and mm -hmm. you will be all right. Right. If you do the opposite, you won't be all right. Right. <laughs> well, well, Damon also made it real clear too this morning is that that with if Paul struggled with it, then we're going to struggle as sure. well. And sure. he, he gave us that that option to be able to come out of all of that. Absolutely, he did. And in Romans 6 and 7, mm -hmm. it's I-itis and me-itis uh, that gets us in trouble. He mentioned that too. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I-itis, me-itis is certainly your flesh dominating what God's Word says. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that, it, it, again, knowing that there's hope, that uh, everybody should go back and read Romans if you're, if you're struggling. Absolutely. And, and, Damon also made sure that he pointed out that these are these are Christians going through these things. Paul's yeah. talking to us as yeah. well, so he, he's just not talking to lost people. Although we look in that, and he goes, "Don't don't judge now, because it's, you know the first thing you do is you start pointing out, well, oh yeah, they're talking about them, but but he's talking to us as Christians as well about how to deal with those issues." Yes, and and both the scriptures that. Damon quoted and quoted extremely well, put up on the screen, Romans 1 and 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. It teaches us how he was caring for a church, the Corinthian church, mm -hmm. and what not to do. Yeah. And the what not to do is so that you don't damage yourself. Right. That's right. exactly, he mm -hmm. doesn't want you getting hurt by your own actions. Right, right. Well, yeah. that message there, you know, some people might want to look at it as, as one that was kind of a, the one that might want to beat you up a little bit, and, and but it's not. It was an encouraging it one. It is encouraging. It was absolutely, there's hope. There was hope all through those scriptures sure. that Damon listed in the message today. Sure Nothing but hope. Absolutely. Oh. And that's the promise of the love letter from God to us, the Bible. That's it, that's <laughs> it. All right, well listen, on behalf of Ken and myself, we want to thank you for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us again next week at the same time and same place. Yeah.